Hello and welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are discussing the ISI 2019 paper. In this question we are given uh, arithmetic progression A1, A2 up to AN. These are the terms in the progression comprising of N terms and the common difference or increment is R. And we are asked to find the difference between the mean of the squares and the square of the mean. So let us assume that a bar is equal to the square of the, the mean of the given given series mean of the given ap series so therefore a bar is nothing but sigma a from i to from i equal to 1 to n ai over n. So that is nothing but a1 plus a2 plus dot 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 up to a n over n. Now since this is an arithmetic progression, so a2 is equal to a1 plus r which is the common difference, a3 is equal to a1 plus 2r etc. So a n would be a 1 plus n minus 1 into r. So therefore we can write a bar as 1 by n into a 1 plus a 1 plus r which is a 2 plus a 1 plus 2 r and so on right up to a1 plus n minus 1 r. So this is the expression of the mean of the AP series and we can simplify this further. So we can write this as 1 by n. So we can see that a1 appears n times 1, 2, 3, right up to n times. This is the first term, second term, third term and this is the nth term. So there are n a1s. So n a1 plus r into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 right up to n minus 1. So this is equal to 1 by n into n a1 plus r into the sum of the first n minus 1 natural numbers which is n minus 1 into n divided by 2. So this is nothing but a1 plus r into n minus 1 divided by 2. So this is the form of the expression for a bar. So therefore we can write this as a bar square is equal to 1 by 4 into 2 a1 plus r into n minus 1 whole square. So this is the expression for a bar square. Now what is the expression for mean of the squares? Now mean of the squares means sigma of a i square i running from 1 to n divided by n which is equal to a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square right up to a n square divided by n. So this can be written as 1 by n into a1 square plus a1 plus r whole square plus a1 plus 2r whole square all the way up to a1 plus n minus 1 
into r whole square. So if we simplify this, this comes out to be 1 by n into a1 square plus a1 square plus twice a1 r plus r square plus a1 square plus 4 a1 r plus 4 r square right up to a1 square plus 2 plus 2 a1 r into n minus 1 plus r square n minus 1 whole square. So this means that there are n a1 square 1, 2, 3 and uh, the last one is this one. So there are n terms in this uh, in this sequence so there are n a1 squares so we can write this as 1 by n into n a1 square plus 2 a1 r into 1 plus 2 plus 3 right up to plus n minus 1 and then we have the r square terms. So r square into 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square right up to n minus 1 whole square. So this is the form of this expression. So we can simplify this by writing this in, in the following way n a1 square plus 2 a1 r into this is the sum of the first n minus 1 natural numbers. First n minus 1 natural numbers is this. So therefore we can write this as 2 a1 r into n minus 1 into n by 2. So 2 and 2 cancels out. So therefore we get this as a1 r into n into n minus 1 plus r square into sum of the squares of the first n natural numbers or rather n minus 1 natural numbers which would be n minus 1 into n into twice of n minus 1 plus 1. So that means 2n minus 2 plus 1 which means 2n minus 1 divided by 6. So this can be simplified into a1 square plus a1 r into n minus 1 plus r square into n minus 1 into 2n minus 1 in over 6. So now we take the difference of these two. So this is sigma a square by n and we know a bar square is equal to 1 by 4 into twice a1 plus r into n minus 1 whole square. So that is nothing but equal to 1 by 4 into 4 a1 square plus 4 a1 r into n minus 1 plus r square n minus 1 whole square. So this is nothing but a1 square plus a1 r into n minus 1 plus r square into n minus 1 square over 4. Now if we do the subtraction now, which is sigma a square by n minus a bar whole square, this is what we are trying to find out. This means a1 square plus a1 r into n minus 1 plus 
R square into n minus 1 into 2n minus 1 over 6 minus a1 square minus a1r into n minus 1 minus r square into n minus 1 whole square over 4. So we can see that the first couple of terms cancel out and we are left with r square r square by 2 into n minus 1 can be taken common and we can write 2n minus 1 by 3 minus n minus 1 by 2. So this is equal to r square by 2 into n minus 1 into 4n minus 3n is n and minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1. So n plus 1 over 6. So this is equal to r square into n, n square minus 1 by 12. So this is the final form of the expression of sigma a square minus a bar, a bar whole square. So let's see which of the options give us this choice. So we got our answer as r square into n, my, n square minus 1 by 12 and we can see that option C gives us that choice. So option C is the correct choice.